Hi friends, this is Susie, your Candy Crush Guru, here to help you solve the puzzle of level 4255 in Candy Crush Saga, and this is a special dedication to Therese, who let me know I somehow neglected recording this one. So here we go, we've got 20 moves to collect one dragon. Ooh, there he is. Right there in the... Oh, there, the collection spot is right here, so even though there are candy cane fences bordering this, if we can just collect the keys, here's the first one, and we have to collect this to get to this, this to get to this, because we're opening up these sugar chests. Once we get to this one, we'll have all of the sugar chests open. The problem is, how do we get to those? Specifically, how do we get to this? Well, I think if we clean things out here, we'll have a better shot. So let's try to get rid of all of the licorice. But, oh, okay, good, got it. So now we got this one. So now this is open, and how do I reach that? And now I've got chocolate growing at me. I don't have a lot of orange on the board over here, so I'm going to take this out, try to get a concentration of colors. Good plan. Unfortunately, it didn't happen that way. That's what happens sometimes. You're relying on a little bit of luck. Let's try to sneak down here. And I'm going to try to clear this up because eventually I'm going to need to get down here, right? Maybe it was a mistake not kind of pursuing all parts of the board. Yikes. That chocolate's growing. I can't do much about it. The licorice is in the way. I can't get over here. Therese, I can see why you need a little bit of help with this one. And it's listed as a normal level. Yeah, I think we need to ignore that. I think that this might be a little tougher than just a regular level. Now I can try to bring more blue down here to help, or I can try to run the green here. I'm going to do the blue first, because it's about to... Oh, shoot. I'm going to leave the blue alone. I'm going to grab this. Now that blue still took off on its own. I can't get the green, but what I can do is collect this key right here. Now I only have a couple of moves, so this obviously isn't going to work. I have to assess what I did wrong and what I can do to improve. Uh, so first, I moved fairly quickly. I should examine each move. This is pretty good because it takes out one of those pesky licorice. Plus, it hits this, and we're trying to get to here. But I think a better move is moving... Oh, that's the same thing. <laughs> oh, no, I was thinking maybe moving this purple over here. It drops the orange down. The orange sets through like this hits this. I think it's pretty equal, isn't it? I think actually this is a better move because it hits that chocolate once. It's kind of moot. I don't think I could do all of this in two moves, but that's one of the things that I didn't do is concentrate on each and every move. And if I start that from the beginning, then all of those moves will have more value. The second thing I'm going to do is instead of focusing on one key, and then the next key, and then the next key, and then the next key. I'm going to try to open up this entire area. And of course, I think I'm going to need some good combos to get that done. And sometimes the luck will be with us, and sometimes it won't. So one of the most important things about levels like this, where you do need that luck, is perseverance. Hopefully the luck will come quickly. If it doesn't, you need to maintain that attitude of looking at each and every move, which is hard to do. Sometimes you go, I just want to be done with this. But the best way to be done with it isn't just to kind of rush through it, but to contemplate each move. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to pause, come back with a new board. I'll have the microphone turned off initially, but once I solve this, I'll come back through and narrate everything for you. All right, this took between 10 and 15 tries, but I learned a lot. I learned that making moves over on the right-hand side of the board, clearing that side out, is more important than clearing out the left-hand side. Not only do I not want to focus just on the left-hand side, I want to more focus on the right-hand side. Now, I'm risking this. I know I'm risking it, but I wanted just the orange in a slightly better position here. I want to get all the way down here. I'm still playing kind of fast and dirty. I tend to do that. But I was excited about the newfound information that clearing out the right-hand side of the board is best because then I'm more likely to, to get things like color bombs. And color bombs beget color bombs and other specials. So that's what I'm you know, trying to do is hasten that. Now I can make a stripe up or low. I think I'm going to try to do this to make a combo. There we go, striped wrapped combo. 
And yeah, if I don't use it, it's going to go away. Let's go ahead and take that and really open up that board. Okay, so we're going to continue trying to open this side. Now I'd love to collect that key over there. Haven't been able to do it yet. Oh, there we go. So that color bomb, because color bombs beget color bombs and other specials. That's what helps. Now I have to figure out, I've got another color bomb. Do I want to try to take out the purple when it shows up? Or do I want to hold on to it and try to use it for the orange? I probably should have used the purple at this point in time. I didn't. And I'm not getting a better opportunity. I thought, well, the, that purple is closer to the middle, so it might be easier to collect. Maybe if I make a stripe, maybe that will help. But I can't slide that stripe over, can I? So I'm going to take it right now because I don't have a whole lot of choices. And then there we go. Because I successfully cleared out a lot of that corner and because I had an open board so things were flowing, that meant that if I was able to collect those other keys, that corner was going to fall much more easily. So I think that's a better approach. It's And it's based on that conveyor belt. I'll reiterate, when the conveyor belt moves basically on the top portion from the from the left to the right, it's going to help you clear out that right side. And if you clear out an area, you've got more space to make more things to affect the left side. If you have any questions or comments, please put those below. And as always, thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye and good luck to all and Therese.